If you want to set up a brand channel on your YouTube account, then stay tuned. If you want to move a personal channel over to a brand channel, then stay tuned also. Not only that, if you have a custom URL, I'll show you also how not to lose it when you move a personal channel over to a brand channel. Hi there, David Walsh here, helping you grow your business with video. In this video, I'm going to show you not only how to set up a brand channel, if you want to move your personal channel over to the brand channel, I'll show you that too. And also how to keep your custom URL if you have one of them on your personal channel. Now, if this is your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell. We upload videos Tuesdays, Thursdays and go live Saturdays, answering your questions to help you grow your YouTube channel. Now, there are many reasons to have a brand channel as opposed to a personal channel. Namely, is that you have better security with the permissions that you give people on your brand channel than you do on the personal one. Another one is that if you're looking to sell your channel or if this is for your business and you sell your business and you need to give those new owners the YouTube channel also, then you definitely need to have a brand channel set up in order to do so. I recommend to all my clients that they have a brand channel when they're setting up their YouTube channel, whether that's for business or pleasure or whatever. It's just a much better type of channel to have. So we're going to head on over to the trusty computer as I show you all this YouTube goodness and I'll also show you how to do it on mobile as well. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our brand new brand channel. To do so, go to YouTube and go to youtube.com forward slash account. Now, if you are doing this on mobile, what you need to do is to log in to the YouTube channel through the browser, not the YouTube studio app. So when you're logged into YouTube through the mobile browser, go to youtube.com forward slash account, just the same way as we do on desktop. And then we can follow along here on the computer as it is the exact same steps then click on add or manage your channels. So to add a brand channel, click on create new channel. Pop in the name that you want and then click on create. Pop in a phone number and then select whether you want them to send a text message or give you a voice call. So if you don't have a mobile phone, if you want to get them on the landline, then select voice call. Once you have selected your choice, then click on continue. You'll then receive a verification code and pop that in the field. Now you have your brand channel set up. So to set this up, go into customize channel, set up your channel art, your icons, all those good things in there under branding here. So if you just want to set up a brand new brand channel, then that is it. Customize everything, pop in the relevant information and your channel is set up. Now, if you want to move a personal channel over to the brand channel, this is where we will continue with this video. So to move your channel over, then you need to select the channel that you want to move. So go up to the top, click on your icon on the top right, then select switch account. So I want to move this channel here, Billy Joe Bananas with 10 subscribers. So click on that. Then again, go to youtube.com forward slash account. Then on the bottom left, click on advanced settings. Then under move channel, click on move channel to a brand account. So to double check, this is the channel that I want to move. I've got 10 subscribers, nine videos, zero playlists. And again, if this is not the channel you want to move, go up to the top right, then click on switch account and then select the account that you want to move. So now I have to select the channel that I want to move it to. So here's the channel that I just set up, new brand banana channel. So in order to move it, click on replace. So it tells you that all the comments that are on the channel will be permanently deleted. All your replies, thumbs up, all that good stuff will go too. So you click on I understand and wish to proceed. Now, if you have a custom URL on your YouTube channel, wait till the end as I give you a trick on how to not lose your custom URL when you move your personal channel over to your brand channel. So watch out for that. And the next step is to click on delete channel. So to confirm, do you want to move and update your channel? So you're moving from your account Billy Joe Bananas to brand new banana channel. Changes that are going to happen. It says your channel icon and name will be updated across YouTube. 
the channel URL will not change, but it's this channel URL, not your custom URL. There is a big difference. And again, make sure to keep watching on how to save that if you have a custom URL. Some content will not be transferred and your comments will not be moved. So you will lose comments on videos. You will lose replies to comments, thumbs up, likes, all of those things will also delete from your original personal channel. So once you're happy with that, click on move channel. So it gives a notice here, your YouTube channel has been successfully moved and it can take up to 10 minutes. So to see that move, I go up to the top, click on switch account and then go to new brand banana channel. That's where I've moved it. And you can see already that I've got 10 subscribers on there. So if I go to my uh, YouTube studio, well, we'll see there are my videos. So you see that our channel icon has been changed, which the notification did tell us. So to change that, all we need to do is go into customization on the left. And you can also change your name if you want to do that as well. So if you have a custom URL on your personal channel, then there's one further step you need to do. So before you move your personal channel over to the brand channel, what you need to do is set up the brand channel first 30 days in advance. You can't move your custom URL from your personal channel over to your brand channel if your brand channel is brand spanking new. You can only get a custom URL if your channel is 30 days old. So when you do this 30 days in advance before you move from personal to your brand channel, then you can delete your custom URL from your brand channel. And then when you've moved your personal channel over to the brand channel, you can then select that custom URL once you've moved it over. You do need to fulfill the custom URL criteria, which is you do have a channel icon, you've got channel art, you've got info in your about section, and your channel is 30 days old. I've confirmed this with YouTube support as the best way to do it. Even if you don't delete your custom URL from your personal channel before you move it over, you still have to wait 30 days for your brand channel in order to get the custom URL from your old channel over to there. So it is the really the quickest way because YouTube support will take a few days to get your custom URL over to your brand new channel. So what about brand channels? Are you moving it over? Let me know in the comments area below. I'd love to know your reason why. And as always, if you are brand new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell. We upload videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, go live Saturdays on the Saturday stream, answering your questions to help you grow your YouTube channel. And if you want to customize your YouTube channel to get even more viewers and subscribers, then click and watch that video right there.